Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about forces. By the end of this session, you should be able to identify forces, acting on a body under different situations, especially these five listed basic forces. Forces are in play all around us. Things hanging, sitting, balancing, moving and spinning are all using some kind of force. Forces come in different forms, and they all result in something. We cannot see or touch, but we can see it in action. Forces can also be measured, using a device called force meter. The unit of force is called the Newton, represented by the symbol N. Without forces, all of our daily life activities are impossible to execute. From these pictures, can you identify what types of forces present in this situation? To help you, let's learn about forces in details. The first force is weight, or also known as, gravitational force. It is a force that always, acts on all objects near the Earth. Weight of an object is always equal to, its mass, times gravitational acceleration. Second type of force is, normal force. Normal force, or reaction force, is the support force that surface is exerted, to prevent solid objects, from passing through each other. For example, if a book is resting upon a surface, then the surface is exerting, an upward force upon the book, in order to support the weight of the book. Next is, tension force. Tension force is a pulling force, transmitted through a string, rope, cable, or wire, when they are pulled tight, by forces acting from opposite ends. The tension force, is directed along the length of the wire, and pulls equally on the objects, on the opposite ends of the wire. For example, the rope used for tug-of-war competition, should be thick, or strong enough, to withstand the pulling forces from both sides. Next, friction. Friction. Friction force, is the force exerted by a surface, as an object moves across it, or makes an effort to move across it. Friction can make surfaces in contact feels warm. There are, at least, two types of friction force sliding, and static friction. Though it is not always the case, the friction force, often opposes the motion of an object. You will learn more about friction, in your tutorial session later. Lastly, external force, or applied force. It is a force that is applied to an object, by a person or another object. For example, we apply force to lift, open, turn, move and even to change the shape of something. I believe that I don't need to explain more on this, because obviously, even a cat, knows how to do that. Now, please look at these adorable children. Let's try to identify, all the forces, acting on the wheel card shown in the picture. How many forces are there? I will give you few seconds to identify all of them. So, how many forces are there, acting on the wheel cart? I managed to identify six of them. Let's look at them one by one. First is, the weight of the cart itself. Second is, the weight of the girl sitting on it. The third force is, normal force exerted on the cart, by the ground below. Fourth is, the pulling force, or tension, as the boy trying to pull the cart forward. The fifth force is, pushing force, exerted by the girl in orange hat. Last is, friction on the cart's wheels, and it is acting backwards, as the car moves forwards. Next, let's look at another situation, where a woman is being helped by her friends, as she tries to climb up the incline wall. Could you please identify, all the forces, acting on the woman? How many forces acting on the woman? Again, I noticed that, there are six forces acting on her. First is, her self-weight. Second is, normal force acting perpendicularly, to the inclined wall surface. Third is, tension, 
or pulling force, from the rope. Fourth is, pulling force from the guy on the top. Next is, pushing force, from the guy below her. And lastly, friction, acting between her feet and the wall. Later on, in your tutorial session, you will learn how to represent all of these forces, using free body diagram, as shown on your right hand side. With this, you should be able to identify all forces, acting on a body, under different kind of situations. Thank you for listening, and, good luck.